Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for some retro four-wheel drive time. It's the final race here for them at Lydon Hill for the weekend. Who is going to take the victory? Oh, it's going to be a good one, ladies and gentlemen. Andy Grant then is on pole position in that Ford Focus. Right next to him then is Steve Harris in one of the most beautiful cars the world has ever produced. Ooh, incredible scenes uh, then in behind, or oh, just alongside them, but in behind them in terms of track position, it is Bradley Sampson who will start in third position. And then we've got Ramanauskas in fourth position. We've got Ian Flipney in fifth. And then we've got Joe Booth at the back there. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Ready to race has appeared on our screens, and we're about to go green light racing. We are green light racing here, and it's a superb start by Steve Harris. His first phase was incredible, but Andy Grant, I believe, has just slipped up the inside. Brilliant stuff there from Andy Grant. As we come then through Chesson's Drift down towards the Dover slope here, and Grant has been exceptional all weekend, but he just gets onto the gravel there. It's not great from him, the exit. Just tried to go to power a little bit too early. And wow, we have got two Fords from two different generations battling for position here. Up the hill, we will indeed come. And Steve Harris has that inside line. Up Harry Hill, onto the apex then. And Grant under some severe pressure. And over-rotates the car there. That's sluggish, it's slow. But he's going to find a little gap to work with, surely. He does. Andy Grant then up the inside. And there's almost contact between the two. Maybe an opportunity for Bradley Sampson to close up here. And as they come across the line, it is indeed the lead for Andy Grant. He would have been expecting that to be a little bit easier than it was. But ultimately, he has got into the lead. Three laps to go. Can he hang on, though? Last time out, he made a mistake. He ran a bit wide here through Chesson's Drift. This time round, though, absolutely nails it. Perfect from him. Steve Harris then in seconds, but would have been hoping for another mistake. It's not quite coming to fruition, although there it is. There is actually a little bit of a, a run wide, should we say. Up Harry Hill then, and we're coming up towards the halfway point of this race again. Short, sharp, frantic racing here at Lydon Hill. And I tell you what, Steve Harris has not given up this. He has not given up the opportunity of potentially winning this race. P4, you see there, uh, the white car, that's Ramanauskas, the Lithuanian. First time he's ever driven around a circuit. I actually did a track walk with him yesterday morning, and uh, he was just in awe of the place. He was in awe of the curbs. He was trying to find out where the quick parts of the circuit was. And so fair play to him, being in P4 in his first ever attempt here. But the driver in P1 then is Andy Grant in that red Ford Focus through the devil's elbow we will indeed come and as you can see Steve Harris trying to keep pace with the leader but it becomes very very difficult of course a lot older car but fair play absolutely whipping that car around beautiful beautiful history of motorsport right in front of our very eyes Bradley Sampson going to be very pleased here by being in P3 as well getting that car sideways then is Steve Harris delicious bit of sideways action as we have the drone cam here giving us great shots through the Chesson's Drift again into that Dover slope it's brilliant stuff here from these two on the final lap of this race you see the bonnet raising then on Steve Harris's car in the background he is giving it everything I think Grant may have just taken a bit of pace off here just make sure that he gets across the line in the lead up Harry Hill we come up towards the apex we come. Two wheels then for the focus in the lead. Steve Harris there with a little bit of an opportunity, but I think Grant may be just playing with his food at this point. As we come then down towards the paddock bend into the gravel section for the very final time. Through the chicane we go and Grant will take the checkered flag. He'll also take a lot of curb. Steve Harris just in behind him, not far at all. Bradley Sampson then will take that checkered flag as P3 as well. Congratulations to him. And then I believe we have indeed got Ramanauskas. Yes, there we go. Ramanauskas there runs a little bit wide through Paddock Bend. And well, uses all of the curb there and more as he comes across the line. So congratulations. And then we've got Ian Flitney uh, coming across the line as well as Joe Booth in P6.